We're going to go to NubiDeb or Nuvi Lab uh, and talk to Kim Hee-jung, who is going to give us some more information about Nuvi Lab as we find out what their key products and services are. So why don't we go ahead and invite um, Hee-jung onto the main stage? Okay. Oh. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, can you see? Uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Yours. Um, thank you. Um, hello, I'm Kelly Kim, uh, CMO of Nuvi Lab. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to introduce our solution and our company. We help cafeteria managers and ESG managers reach their zero waste goals and provide a satisfying meal. As the built in 2018, we received the CES 2021 Innovation Awards in Healthcare and Sustainability and many other awards in various competitions. And we recently achieved the Amy million US dollars investment, which is a series A. Food waste is one of the main culprits of global warming, which account about 9% of all carbon emissions. And food price is soaring every year for rise in food and material cost. In addition, strong regulations put the pressure on companies to reduce food waste. So they are struggling to streamline operation cost and minimize the food waste, but it is very hard to do it. Our scanner automatically analyzes the type and the amount of food served, as well as eaten or left by users, so that cafeteria managers can figure out the user's preference on each menu. Because it also records the type and the amount of overprepped food, it helps to optimize quantity of food material when they ordering them. Eventually, it helps to reduce food waste and food, food material cost. We use stand scanner or auto scanner in terms of how users move in cafeteria, canteens, or restaurants. Mobile scanner is used targeting B2C. We provide the most efficient way to optimize cafeteria operations through using insightful data collected through our AI food scanner. We innovate the way of kitchen operation system, which currently heavily rely on managers' own experience, which may bring inaccuracies. Overprepped food are generated from lack of information of consumption prediction. With our analyzed data, we can suggest how much they should prepare by predicting future consumption, and they will be able to reduce food material cost up to 30%. Plate waste is generated because they cannot identify users' preferences on each menu. As we provide the analyzed plate waste data, they can use it when designing the menu or adjusting the recipes and they can reduce plate waste up to 42%. And because our dashboard displays the reduced amount of greenhouse gas in real time, whenever it detects zero waste plate, users can figure out how much they contribute to reduce carbon emission. So it leads them to leave less leftover and eventually it helps reduce plate waste. Based on our technology, we are developing integrated management solution for carbon emission in cafeteria. It measures the, the amount of carbon emission generated from cafeteria operation, considering all carbon emission factors like food waste, food material ingredients, operation systems, et cetera, and create a report on dashboard to support the carbon neutral operation management in cafeteria. Through analyzing the amount and the kinds of food consumed during a meal, we provide users with their personal intake nutritional information if the users scan their plate before and after eating, after they are personally paired to our technology. We are developing personal eating habit management app targeting B2C, which provides all all intake nutritional information if the user takes the picture of before and after the meals. A lot of companies in healthcare fields and food service companies are showing their interest 
on this app these days because analyzing eating habit has been unsolved problems in digital healthcare business. And, and I bet this app will play a very important role in healthcare sector. Through operating a new app solution, we predict our clients can save 62,500 US dollars per year if the number of daily users are 1,000 and production cost per meal is five US dollars. However, the fee for our program costs 20,000 US dollars per year. Eventually, uh, they will be able to save uh, 45,500 US dollars per year. We are exploring to make a partnership with global, global and local food service companies. Recently, a vice president from Armark, one of the biggest um, global catering, catering companies in the world, has visited our company and they suggested us business co-work in the near future. Besides them, we have a connection with other global uh, catering companies. And we participate in, in global fairs, exhibitions, and accelerating programs held by global companies to increase awareness of our solutions. In addition, we run various digital channels like YouTube, Instagram, blogs, et cetera, to communicate with our potential clients constantly. Our scale-up does not need a scale to measure the weight of food waste, unlike other competitors. Mere scanning can detect both amount and type of food waste, so it needs less space and it is easy to learn. Our solution is being operated over 70 locations in B2B, B2Z segments in Korea. We work with administration of national defense, schools, government offices, and other big corporates in Korea also. We introduced our programs to Microsoft, Nestle, and many other uh, global food, food service companies, as I mentioned. We were already invested a million US dollars by um, Korea's top IT companies, and it is going to be used in, in improving AI models for better analysis accuracy and automatic learning of, of new menus. Now our, we are looking for investment around 25 million US dollars next year to scale up our business. The core technology of NoviLab is 90% consistent with autonomous driving technology. The founder of NoviLab, a former automobile researcher, is developing this amazing technology with global professionals in NoviLab. Thank you. Great, um, been writing down questions for you. This is uh, really interesting to me, but uh, appreciate you joining in and, uh, or joining in this uh, live stream and giving us this information. Thank I was you. really curious too, especially when uh, you got into the personal uh, management side of it. But again, before I steal all the questions, uh, Clement can join in first, and then I'll jump in with my own questions after that. Okay. Um, so, what was interesting to me is um, uh, the like you can see your personal uh, CO two uh, rate on your right. Um, is there some kind of like gamification on that? Like, do you do you have some kind of ranking with your friends or this kind of stuff uh, that might be interesting to? And not really compete, but um, see how you're doing with uh, compared to the others. Right, right. Um, good question. Um, we uh, uh, we operated our solution uh, in SK Telecom Canteen in Korea, and they were really satisfied uh, with with outcome of our solution. So they wanted to spread our solution to other locations in Korea, like Daejeon, Pangyo, or I mean uh, other. Five other four locations, which means we operated our solution in five locations in Korea, and we showed the dashboard. Actually, we showed the dash dashboard the um the in real time, um um uh, plate zero, uh plate zero waste percentage, like a ranking, 
So um, it was very interesting uh, project. And um, the every, I mean, the, the, the workers who use the, uh, their uh, cafeteria in every location can see how um, they're, 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 they're ranking comparing with other, other locations. And it was very interesting um, uh, project. And also um, we are, um, for the schools, we can uh, make a compete with um, other, you know, every single schools that operates our solution that they can see um, which school is the best in reducing, you know, uh, carbon emission, something like that. Okay. And um, is there um, a more convenient way to scan your plates? So I, I, I saw that you show like a camera scanning your, your plate. Right. Mm -hmm. um, how does that work? Like, is it, uh, for example, at the entrance of the cafeteria, at the exit of the cafeteria? Um, how does that work like? Uh, right. Uh, we can decide what, what kind of what kind of scanners we can use uh, in terms of um, how um, the cafeteria is operated. So, for example, in the return zone, if they have a conveyor belt, um, the the easiest way that what we do is we deploy our scanner on top of the on top of the um, the conveyor belt, so that. Um, if the users uh, return their their place on the on the conveyor belt, and mm -hmm. conveyor belt, when the conveyor belt moves, uh, our scanner automatically catch the, uh, the 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 plate and analyze all the uh, leftovers. So that means that um, that users don't have to change their you know be movement I mean behavior when they use when they return their plates. And mm -hmm. also sometimes um, if they don't have any you know, um, the, the kind of conveyor belt. We, we research um, the user's movement uh, in the return zone and that we uh, we deploy their auto scanner on the spot that catch the plate uh, without um, any inconvenience. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, great, I have a, just quick questions here because um, a lot of the questions about opportunities and strategy you've already mentioned and, and we're very clear about. So I don't have questions about that, um, but just a few. So what I'm, what I'm saying is uh, these questions might be a little more critical, but I'm okay. saying that in light of the fact that the rest of them are really interesting or like it seems like it's really good opportunity. Mm -hmm. But my first question is, how do you distinguish or do you have the technology to distinguish between something like bulgogi and soy-based or tofu plant-based bulgogi, do you have that kind of technology or how does that, because you know, you can buy soy-based food that looks like the real thing. Is there a way right. to figure that out? Right, right, right. Um, uh, we have uh, over 3 million of um, food, uh, food database now. So uh, wow. we can, yeah, so we can distinguish, um, I mean, discriminate um, that kind of uh, the food, of course, the type of the food, of course. And um, for example, uh, like uh, let's say uh, the menu is ujigo doppa, and um, you know sometimes it is. I mean, when they in the return zone, sometimes they separate sauce and rice, but sometimes they mix. Mm. But we can uh, we can uh, identify it is ujigo doppa, whether it, it is it is separated or not. And uh, so uh, that's why you can uh, discriminate on uh, all these kind of uh, food, uh, food kinds. I was curious about that because I was thinking too, I, I just had food in the cafeteria for lunch today. And, you know, when I put the food away, you put all the food into one soup bowl and send it back mm -hmm. in Korean restaurant or Korean right, cafeterias. Right. Yeah. Do you, so you, like, do you tell them like the company that you worked with, um, would you say it was SK, was it SK you said? SK Telecom. Yeah. Like, do you tell them don't sep don't put all your food into one bowl or is there a way to get around that? Yes. Yes. We, we, we advise them to uh, not mix um, mm. in the return, when they return their plates. Uh, that's very important. Yeah, that's very important to analyze all the, all the menus. Right. Um, okay. And also um, to, um, to increase the accuracy of uh, our analysis, 
uh, actually we received the menu in advance from the nutritionist. Mm -hmm. uh, so that makes more accurate um, for analyzing uh, all the, the, the menus. Cool. Um, so yeah, I, sorry. I mean, those seem to be a little critical. My other comments are just that it sounds like a really cool way to have educational opportunities in schools for children to learn. Right. I mean, right. I, I see a lot of potential. So um, mm -hmm. again, uh, really interesting product that you have here mm -hmm. uh, and applications for the future. So I hope that the rest of your um, series investments go very well. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm, I, now I'm in Singapore uh, to participate in the switch program. And this morning, I'm, I, I had a meeting with um, Alexander Hospital, and they wanted to um, analyze the intake nutritional facts of uh, the patient. So uh, we, I, I made a deal with them and for the POC for, for like a four months. And after that, their research is good. Uh, they wanted to spread all the hospitals in Singapore. That would be a really great chance for us to spread our solutions in overseas countries. Cool. Uh, absolutely. It does sound like a great opportunity. Um, if that's it, is there anything else you'd like to say? Uh, the floor is yours. If not, um, I think we've learned a lot. Okay. Thank you.